How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be testing a cheap versus expensive football boot. And I'm going to see if it's really worth spending that money for a high-end boot or if a cheap $30 boot does just as fine. Like, subscribe, and let's get into it. First challenge, 10 rolling shots, trying to hit that top right. Whew. Nice, nice. That wasn't top right, but that felt solid. Hey, yo, these are kind of nice. All right, let's get that top right. Hmm, this is gonna sound very weird, but these boots feel more like I'm actually just wearing a sneaker, just a regular shoe. Let's get it. Oh, that was just straight down the middle. What's new? These also don't look as aesthetically pleasing as I would like them to, just because they look a lot more bulky. But so far, so good. They're actually kind of nice. All right, four more. Oh, that was, <laughs> wow, that was close. This might just be beginner's luck because these are my first couple shots of the day. Ooh, one more. Wow, uh, I'm not gonna lie. They were, I think they were all on target except for that last one. So, so far, so good. Off the bat already, comparing these to the cheap boots, these definitely, definitely feel like almost $300 pairs of cleats. It's like an almost immediate feel because with the cheap ones, they're very bendable and movable. With these, it's nice and sturdy so you can get that snap back whenever you're running. But well, let's try and hit that top right. You can already say, that is our first shot, first miss. That's not how the cheap ones went. Down the middle. Come on. Ooh. That was solid. Ooh. Oh man. <gasps> Let's go. Dang, that, that was nice. All right, four more. Last one. That would have been nice. That would have been very nice. Rolling shots? Definitely these. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness. That is the worst run you will ever see. Oh, that's, <laughs> I'm starting to change my mind about these boots. There's absolutely like no lockdown. That was a bit better. Oh, I can really feel the bottom sole plate. It's like, You've got the upper, and there's no cushion or good stitching or attachment that goes to the sole plate. It's just sole plate. <laughs> kind of hurts. Ooh, that would have been nice. Ooh. Oh god, that was so bad. Let's go. That was very choppy. Very, very choppy. Oh, shh. 
go back, go back, go back. <laughs> Probably should have looked at the goal. Come on. Oh. Come on. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. I really thought I was gonna hit bottom post and go in. Oh man, I'm gonna say right now, these for turning and moving around, the sides of my foot are just hitting the outer part of the boot. Obviously you can fix that with grip socks, but I wanted to do a more raw comparison without grip socks, just regular socks. But as far as touch and everything goes, ooh, it's decent, but I need a little bit more lockdown. All right, expensive pair. Let's go. Ooh, kind of a bad start there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. As far as lockdown, it's there. It's whoo. Oh, come on, that was too slow. That was way too high, too. I just spit all over myself. Bottom left, let's go. Now, I am gonna say, the more newer or inexpensive boots are a lot harder to break in, in my opinion. So if that's something that, one, you can't afford, and two, you're not looking to take forever to break a boot in, I would recommend the cheap pair. But as far as like lockdown, when you first try it on, it's very tight. Whew. I'm trying just as hard as I did with the, with the cheap boots. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was so bad. I don't think I had that one that bad with the cheap ones. I like tripped over myself. Nice. All right, four more. Ooh, that was not clean at all. Ooh. Should have looked up at the goal there. I think so far, the cheap boots were more accurate. But these feel a lot better cutting through the cones. Nice and easy. Oh. <laughs> All right, last one. Ooh. That is interesting. As you can tell, I think I was way more accurate with the cheap boots than the expensive pair. But as far as comfort and like safety, the expensive pair is the way to go. But I was just more accurate with the cheap ones. All right, time for my favorite part, free kicks. So far, $30 boots, cheap boots have been all right. Definitely feel like $30. My main thing, as I've been saying, is a lockdown. But let's see how many how many of these we can make into the top right. Ow. These free kicks aren't in, guys. Come on. Ooh. Bottom right. Oh, let's go. Towards the right direction, that was pretty nice. That felt pretty good. All right, last four. Ooh. I think that was the best one yet. Ooh. As far as free kicks, I feel like I had no stability whenever I went 
and shot the ball. Every time I would step with this foot, there was no good stability around my ankle and it kind of hurt, but also I am playing on the artificial grass. I'm pretty sure these are FG boots. I think they're both FG boots, but, but overall, these are definitely worth $30. I wouldn't go against buying them because if that's in your budget, I would say these are actually really good boots for them. But let's see how the expensive pair hold up. All right, I've got some pretty high hopes for this one. Let's see if we can hit that top right. Some perfect top right here. No messing around. This is gonna have some power, some whippage into that corner, into that triangle. Just a little bit more whippage. I'm not getting enough whip on this, man. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? All right, four more. Hey, at least that was on target, but honestly, these have been so bad. No. No, no, no. Ooh. Well, according to the stats, I think I did a lot better with the cheap boots, specifically on free kicks, because I don't think any of the free kicks with the expensive boots went in. And that's a little disappointing. If you haven't already, make sure you go down, like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Feels like I'm wearing clogs or like really big sandals, not sandals. Um, I wouldn't go against, I wouldn't with these boots for a minute, so. <sighs> Touch is nice.